then uh, today I want to share about my uh, console game porting experience. My main experience is in that title. So and, and that title will release uh, this month. Why we need a console porting? Because um, I find that many games now uh, have a limitation. Uh, let's say uh, in Steam, if your game is duration less than two hours, uh, your games will have a very high uh, rebound rate. Yeah, 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 rebound rate. Yeah. But this won't happen in uh, other console platform. So uh, this is why uh, Suica Games, the very famous. Uh, last month have no Steam version and, and, and they only have the iOS version uh, and, and the Switch version and, and the reason behind is they, they don't want they can make their game to have two hour uh, duration and, and many developers uh, to solve it will, will introduce a uh, virtualized model but not any game fit into this yeah so why why Virtualized model can fix it because you need to repay the game, right? So some game is not fit to virtualize will become a virtualize instead. It is the the, the a, a common sense in, in, in the industry, and and it is a it's not a good uh, phenomenon because uh, it just just not work. <laughs> some games just not work in mobile. And also, also uh, in mobile, you will see many uh, uh, female models, but, but uh, not not every game fits the, the female model. And and also, so 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 there is some need in uh, console games. Uh, they just have different players in different consoles, and uh, some games may be fit in that console. So. I don't want games to be only on Steam or mobile and there are another way and that may fit some games which is which cannot have enough revenue in, in Steam or mobile. Yeah, and also it can help uh, developer to survive. Um, I'll, I'll say in this way, um, the time need to port a game into uh, in consoles, if you have experience, it only takes about one to two months. Uh, but if you produce a new game, you develop a new game, you you may need uh, two years or more. And this about ten times of cost. But the revenue is um, um, you 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 can take the other console, take take the same game in other consoles, and and to be a new product to sell. It is the point. So in fact. Um, they are the same, but the costs are very different. If the game is uh, originally designed for Steam, uh, you may get about 50% revenue on other free consoles. Uh, the, the, the PlayStation, the Switch, and the Xbox. But if the game is not originally designed for Steam, the revenue behind it are more, much more. Um, and also it is a good chance to try different person because um, one game can only have um, yeah, one game uh, most likely one game and uh, find one publisher and if you have different uh, you publish in different console you may find different publisher and find out the publisher who are the best so let's talk about the the development team. Yeah. Because of the NDA, I can use uh, the photo I captured. So I just grab some. You can see uh, the something special is that the the XDK the the Xbox uh, development kit has a monitor to shows the FPS. Also PS5 has it uh, in the right hand corner, but uh, it, the 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 photo here not so well. And <laughs> and the switch. Switch uh, development kit uh, is very small and, and you may think that uh, it is a USB hub <laughs> <laughs> and the process is that you buy a development kit you you, you, you need to sign something and, and, and talk to the uh, representative yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on, on 
each platform and need to buy um, with a very high price about 60,000 Hong Kong dollar uh, if you want to get all the new consoles yeah and then and then you download the SDK yeah, if, if you use USB then you are, you are lucky because uh, they have uh, more support yeah, they, they have their own SDK but if you do go dot, then you are lucky <laughs> because there are no any SDK. So in fact, uh, many people in yeah in last year say uh, go dot will replace USB, but I think um, the, the the console need to have some work to <laughs> to to help the go dot. Yeah. And and then after you finish the porting work, you need to use their very old school developer yeah. console. Yeah. Just like the FTP server in the, in, in, in the 30 years ago, I think, yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. There are also any, uh, many difficulties behind the uh, For example, uh, especially Xbox and PlayStation, they always maintain their SD. And some API are crash. <laughs> they don't return an error, but crash the game. <laughs> and it makes the game extremely hard to debug because if you crash the game, you have no debug log. <laughs> so, so in this case, this is very difficult. And, and also, they may have two API for the same function. Um, for example, Xbox has two. API for a trip, but only one is working, but another is not. But I don't know why they keep both uh, in, the, in the SDK. So I think they don't do any work on the maintenance. And then the computing power of Nintendo Switch is very low. I think uh, if you are using Unity port for Nintendo Switch, uh, the experience is worse than you are paying a Mobile, because um, just because of uh, UIT don't do it uh, so well. Um, uh, for example, uh, I, my game is very very simple. It's, it's a two D uh, storytelling game, but uh, I, I I need one minute to open the game in the split screen, and, and and I find out that uh, it is because of when UIT process their uh, audio, they will be process the audio when you start the game and he used that time to do that work and may, uh, when I figured it out I, I cancel that logic and it worked. It means that um, when I do it in computer or in Xbox or PlayStation I don't have, I don't have any problem because just open it uh, in uh, maybe one to two, two seconds. Also there are some some sweet weird, weird problem about uh, loading loading scenes. Uh, it is another story. <laughs> uh, also, you you need to um, handle many controllers in Switch uh, because they have they have many person. They they can have two uh, two handheld controller. They can only one and and uh, straight and and one horizontal and and also they have handheld and. And switch power controllers, uh, many many different versions. You need to handle it one by one. But my game don't uh, not need to. So to me, it's it's not a very uh, trouble issue. Yeah. And then the final one is is, is the most uh, annoying me. Uh, and there are no one can help you because the community sign a NDA. They can't tell anything in an open. Environment. So if you don't know anyone who have experience on development a uh, develop a console game, then you will waste yeah you, you will waste many time to to uh, debug or, or figure out what happened. And I'm the unlucky one, but, but you are the lucky one. <laughs> you can find me. <laughs> yeah, so it, uh, if you want to um, let your game uh, go into the console. Uh, what you need to prepare? Uh, first, you need to support the joystick control. This is the most important. Uh, because in Steam, you can use your mouse, uh, the cursor. Um, 
and um, it is easy to port in mobile because mobile use uh, touch screen as well. Yeah. But in, in Xbox or PlayStation, you can do it. You, you only can have a control. Also in Steam Deck, yeah. If you want your game to run in Steam Deck, you need to have a joystick support. And there are a, a simple choice is that you use a, a virtual uh, cursor and use your use the right joystick to. Uh, Control that uh, virtual cursor is it also. And you need to make sure the font size in the game is, is large enough because um, uh, Steam has a handheld mode and also uh, television is, is uh, far more away than a computer. So you need, to, uh, you need to make sure that the font size is large enough. And also, you will need a treatment system design uh, because uh, uh, Steam is not uh, forcing you to uh, have a treatment system, but Xbox and PS5 they do uh, to, to, to damage it must. So you, you are forced to do it and have at least 12 achievements because the Xbox system uh, uses a scoring system and the score need to uh, achieve a, a, a numbers and that numbers need at least uh, 12 so you can you, you can say that you just do a achievement and, and that achievement is clear the game <laughs> you, you can do it you can do it yeah also don't use any resource of long you are using it. and any function uh, using path because uh, the console system don't know what it what is path? They, they not a drive, and 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 also no Japanese is a pass because if you talk to Nintendo staff, if you use English, they won't return you. You, you, need, to, you, you need to use Japan. And and in fact, when I talk to uh, PlayStation guy, they they are also Japanese, but I I am not the person in charge to talk to them. I I put the word to my publisher. And, and they don't know Japanese, so, so they, they talk to them in, Japanese, uh, in, in English, but I think if you use Japanese, they will uh, have a faster uh, Yeah, I think, yeah, I think um, this is the yeah, <laughs> uh, Thank you.